Welcome back everybody, this is Jason Seacrest. We are going to finish up our cute little whale tutorial today. We are going to be adding on our gradients and then we are also going to be finishing up with the background. So this one's actually going to be a very quick little tutorial and it is going to be super easy and it's going to just really pop out all of our characters. So we had already finished up our shadows. So in the last tutorial, we basically duplicated out our flat color. The first one we got, we started cutting into with the knife tool and that was all of our shadows. And then when we click on our gradient, all of those are gonna disappear. But what we were looking for is big areas to add into our gradient. So that is basically what we are going to add on right now. So let's have some fun. So I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see the process here. I have unlocked my gradient layer I've also, I'm also being able to see it and then everything else is locked out. All right, I'm going to click on my face. Let's come on over. I'm gonna click on gradient. Again, if you do not have gradient, just go under window and then you'll be able to find that gradient window. Now what we are gonna be looking for is a radial gradient. And I am just going to pick the base color and then I'm going to come over double click and I'm going to select the dark blue. Now first actually let's do this. I want a linear one where it's just light to dark. That looks pretty good. I'm going to come over to our gradient tool and I just want to pull in the direction of my light source. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna select my dark and I'm gonna do this. I wanna to start to drop that down. Good. And then I should only have to come in and just select it and it should go in a pretty decent direction. As long as that tip is where the color is, we should be good to go. So when I am coloring, what's actually happening is when I select that color, since it is 50% opacity. So the lower this number, it's just the more that shadow layer pops through. So if I say, hey, I want this to be really subtle, more of my shadows will start popping out. All right, let's do magic wand. Let's select all of our Kareem color. Now what we're gonna look to do is if we are doing our gradient, I want a linear one. And if I double click this one, it's gonna be 50% and it's gonna be our lightest. Let's just do white. Let's do right around 40. And then this one is going to be our dark. Now that angle, I want it to be right around that 45 mark. I am okay with that. And that's all that is, is all of these are going in the same direction. Now let's actually just do this. Now things just to pay attention to, right now each one of these has its own gradient. So if I say, hey, I like that idea, wonderful. If I don't like that idea, we can always make it a compound path. And I might make that a little more subtle. And I'm just gonna knock those down. So right now I'm on the gradient tool. And this is just me getting fancy on you guys for no reason. I just said they have such good idea on what's happening. But all we did is I want that dark. So we're going to do a light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. And so we get a little bit more fold. If you wanted to make a compound path, compound path is down here. If I go make, it basically goes one. So now I only have to control one of these. So if you like that idea, compound path, make your life a little bit easier. I think we can go fancy though. Good, I'm gonna do, let's do a radial gradient. Bounce this around, I want that to be pretty low. So it's gonna be mostly white, white is at the 100%. And then that's gonna be right around that 20 mark. Okay. Good, good, good. Control zero. All right, let's get fancy. So right now we have a nice linear gradient going over the entire guy. We might want to do, and this is us just getting fancy. 
And let's even just do, so I have this one. I'm going to go control C. You do not necessarily need to do new layer, but this is so we can see it. So everything else is locked out. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically add on a radial gradient with a little bit more highlight. So what I want to do is let's just hide that. Let's go radial. And you're going to notice right away that it's going to get a little bit more of a highlight there. And I might just say, well, let's do one of these blues. 50, good. Now I'm going to double click our dark. And what I want it to do is just be our base color. And since we're dropping it down to zero, it really doesn't matter that much. But I just want it to basically have it fade out into nothing. Now right now our highlight is hanging out right here. Remember where our silly light sources were. Let's do our little silly light sources. So you might be able to see it. It's hanging out right there. If I click on, I can basically just slap it right on down. All right, now what I might want to do, and this is where we're going to get fancy, is right now it's going to go transparent. What I'm going to test, let's go knife. Let's just see if I like this. What I might want to do is go light here. There might be another one that's kind of doing the same thing over the, the back end. So I might want one just hanging out over here. So let's just see what happens. So I've got it highlighted. I am on my knife tool, by the way. And I might just say, hey, I want this to come right on through there. Oh, man, was that easy. All right. So I might hit it right there. It might hit right there. And the bigger this is, the just where do I want that highlight to go? So I say right, and we'll just tuck it in right over here. Tuck it on that one. Now for these, let's get fancy again. Let's, let's, I don't think it's going to get as much. Let's just drop that down. So it's just real subtle. Sweet. Okay. Look at that. Man, we got fancy today. You guys are like, this was supposed to be easy. Now oh, that was easy. All right, so we're going to lock that guy out. And now we're basically just finishing them up. So I'm going to take this flat color. I am going to duplicate this guy out. So what we're basically going to do is just a stroke on the outside. So what I want is I'm going to grab everything. Notice that everything is locked out. I don't need to see your highlights anymore. Everything is selected. I want everything to basically do that off white. I am going to come on over to our Pathfinder and then I'm going to unite everything. I'm just going to click it twice just for in case we have any random strays. Now just so you can see what we just did, let's just deal with our background, is we just have an outside shape now. So what I want to do is come over to Path, I want to do an offset path. And all I am looking for is that there's not any random little strays. I say that looks good. Now I might just come in and let's just unite both of those. All right, I'm gonna take this shape. I'm gonna go Control C, Control B, 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 B. Now all that was is we've been pacing in front, Control F. Paste in back. And what I want to do is let's color that one the dark red. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to drag it out in this direction. You guys are going to say, we want to do Pathfinder. We have not done any Pathfinder. Okay, so this little stray up at the top, I'm going to go shift. E. Notice that it's still selected. I just want to get rid of that little guy right there. So everything is underneath. You can just get rid of all of that. Now, some of you might say, good enough for me. But let's just see if we can do it for you. So right now we have 
are white and I just want this little cast shadow. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go Control C, Control F so that it was copy, paste in front. I have two cream shapes, two, two, two. So one of them is selected. I'm holding down shift and I'm gonna do the red and all I'm gonna do is minus front. So what's gonna be left is this little bit of the red. So minus front, boom, that was it. So Pathfinder, we've done Unite, we've done Divide, and now we just did minus front. So you guys just crushed it. So the little trick, just so everyone is aware, is if I want this outline to still show up, I wanna make sure I duplicate it, then do Pathfinder. So the mistake that everyone always makes is they don't duplicate the shape that they're gonna be cutting away from. So usually you have the shape that I wanna keep, duplicate it, and then I'm cutting that shape out. All right, let's finish this bad boy up. I'm gonna subtract. I just want my little orange. This is just gonna be my background, by the way. Let's do a line. This is to the artboard, center, center. And I know you guys are saying we need to see our stuff. So I'm right clicking, send it back, control zero, done and done. Save it up. Good job, guys. So this one, again, we went a little bit slower. We went step by step. And you guys should have a nice little cute little whale guy that uh, is ready to go here. So if you guys f like all of this, definitely are subscribe. Definitely make sure you're putting stuff in your comments. If you have anything that's more specific or things that you want to like to see more of, I know a lot of the simpler or the more easy, simpler versions of the cartoons are getting more views. So I will try and do more of those, especially for beginners. And then we'll just kind of keep walking you through the process. Now, I'm, I have done two in this format, and I will see you guys on the next tutorial.